Hey guys, it's me, Missy, with Rusty Relics, and in today's video, we're just going to be decoupaging these wooden blocks that I had laying around. We're going to put some peaches and strawberries and this cute little honey jar on them. So let's get started. All right, guys, so these are my boards, and what I'm going to do is use these two gel stains. Um, I'm just going to use them, make them, some of them tobacco road and some of them the green, and then um, after that dries, we'll put some drop cloth on there and then these are my decoupage papers so we'll cut them out and we'll place them on here and use some Mod Podge and we'll have cute little sitters so let's get started All right, guys, so we have all of these um, stained up with the Voodoo Gel Stain. So we're gonna let them dry, and again, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll be able to come through and just use um, the dry brush technique and put some drop cloths on it. But I'm really loving this brown and this green, and I think that the green is gonna look really good, especially like with the strawberries or the peaches, I think either one. So when we go, when we dry brush it on, um, we're just going to let some of the stained wood show and not do a full coverage with the paint. So I think it's going to look really good. I'm really excited about how these are turning out. We're just going to let these dry and then we'll come back. All right, so while my blocks are finishing drying, I'm going to take my decoupage paper and I'm just going to lightly wet around the edges and then tear it so that way it's more of a softer line instead of like the cut and straight ends. So you just want to use a little bit of water and then tear your paper. It doesn't take much at all. And that way all of our edges are nice and soft. All right, so we got them. All of our, look how pretty our peaches are. I think they're gonna turn out so good. Okay, so we have the blocks. And all I want to do is, I just want to take my chip brush and put a little bit of paint on it. And then just dry brush the front of it. And the reason why we're doing that is so that when we go through and decoupage our rice paper on there, it'll allow the image on it to pop. Okay, so we're just going to let these dry and then we'll be ready to decoupage them. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got our decoupage paper. I've got them all placed on the blocks that I want them to be placed on. And we're just gonna use some Mod Podge. And we're just going to, let's see, we'll do this one first. I'm just gonna use this little brush and I'm gonna put a thin layer of the Mod Podge on. And then I'm gonna lay my rice paper down. Then we're just gonna put a thin layer on top. We're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back through and if I need to go over it with a drop cloth, kind of like to blend the paint into the decoupage paper, that's what we'll do. Um, but if not, we'll just kind of let them be like that. So these will be really cute little sitters if you have a tear tray on a bookshelf or just on a table or something like that. Um, it's just very summery and you know peaches are a big deal in our county um, but we also do love the strawberries and I just loved this little honey jar that I found so I just had to throw that in there but that's what we're gonna do we just decoupage them all through Alright guys, so we're just going to let these dry up and then we'll see if I need to blend any of the rice paper that's on there or if I just want to kind of lightly distress it a little bit. We'll just see how it turns out. Um, we're just going to let these dry, take about 20 minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so all of our blocks are dry and I just got some fine sandpaper and what I think I'm going to do is just kind of, so like on this one, the rice paper goes over the edges, so we're just gonna like sand it off so that way that's nice and smooth. And it has that clean edge. And what I think I'm going to do is kind of just lightly distress them and see if I need to come back through with the drop cloth. So like this one, you can kind of see the rice paper here, but I think if I just can come through with the drop cloth and kind of feather it around, um, that will blend it in really well. But first, we're just gonna kinda lightly hit it with this sandpaper and see how that turns out. All right, so I think we'll just um, seal these up completely and what I'm going to do is just paint the backs with some drop cloth and then these will be ready to go. All right guys so here's my blocks. Um, I had so much fun doing these simple little projects. Um, I, I'm ready to do more. I already have like a whole list of other images that I want to decoupage onto these little blocks but if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And for more products like this, check us out on Facebook and at RustyGrelix.com. We'll see you guys next time.